She is quitting London, reportedly to avoid living next door to her sister-in-law, the Duchess of Cambridge, and now the Duchess of Sussex is making plans to give birth at a different hospital from Kate. While Prince William's wife had all three of her children in the private Lindo wing at St. Mary's Hospital in Paddington, West London, Meghan Markle could have a home county's baby. I hear plans are being made for Prince Harry's first child, which is due in the spring, to be born in Surrey, at Frimley Park Hospital, where the prince's aunt, the Countess of Wessex, had her two children. A source tells me, if their royal highnesses had moved to Frogmore Cottage before the birth, as planned, Frimley Park may be a more easily accessible option than St. Mary's. Harry and Meghan's new Windsor estate home, which is undergoing refurbishment, is 15 miles from Frimley Park, while St. Mary's is 23 miles away and would involve a journey through congested central London. A Frimley Park birth would no doubt delight Prince Edward's wife, Sophie, who sang its praises after she had Lady Louise Windsor and Viscount Severn there. The Countess holds its staff in such high esteem that she became tearful when she returned in 2014 to open its neonatal unit. Her emotion was such because she nearly died while giving birth to her first child some ten years earlier. In 2003, Sophie was rushed to the hospital from the couple's Bagshot Park home with crippling abdominal pains. Staff realized she needed an emergency cesarean, as she had signs of acute placental abruption, where the placenta separates prematurely from the uterus. Thankfully, the operation, overseen by the Queen's obstetrician, Marcus Setchell, was a complete success. Is Grantchester star Robson Green in the wrong business? There are a couple of things I've done where I've walked off because I just can't abide the people I'm working with, admits the actor, 54. Narcissism is part of the equation of being an actor but, my god, there's different levels and scales and I've been alongside most of them. Happily, Green bonded with his ITV co-star James Norton, though Robson does find him demanding, he doesn't reply to texts. He's terrible. But, my God, when he texts me, he wants a reply. Strictly come dancing pro Odie Mabuz is enjoying her escape from Craig Revel Hall or Woods County comments as a judge on the BBC's new talent show, The Greatest Dancer, which starts tomorrow. I know firsthand what it's like to be judged and to have someone criticize your creativity, says Odie. Being on the other side is completely different. I get to appreciate and inspire and motivate and nurture acts. We create a whole supportive atmosphere. I wonder how she'll get on with pugnacious fellow Judge Cheryl Tweedy? Flamingo Shades for Jet Setter Jade As a cold weather alert is issued in these parts, Jade Jagger has been warming up her admirers with holiday snaps from sunnier climes. In one picture shared online. The jewelry designer wears a pair of sunglasses decorated with a palm tree and a flamingo. Jade is thought to be on Mystique, where her father, Rolling Stone Ceramic, 75, owns a Japanese-inspired villa, Star Groves. It's not clear how many of the Jagger clan have so far arrived at the Caribbean resort. Last year, all eight of the rockers' offspring were invited. At 47, Jade is 45 years older than Mick's youngest child. Devereaux, 